Welcome back. We have some breaking news. New York City Fire Department just tweeted about a major fire in New York City. People say they felt an explosion and they've been posting Instagram pictures everywhere. Sources say there are 30 plus injuries. I can see uh, the film now where the all the floors have gone and you can see flame on all the windows. That means the entire inside of that uh, building is gone and it's only the front and rear walls. That picture is actually from uh, George from Instagram uh, that you're seeing uh, right there, that, that video of the flames just shooting out. Okay. You can tell it's like a loop that was uploaded onto Instagram. George, are you outside the building? What are you seeing? I am literally, so it's kind of loud. There's a helicopter right above me. I switched to my friend's rooftop in the East Village. I was walking to work. I work at Bar Barrage. It's right across the street. When I went down to uh, 7th Street between 1st and 2nd, I bumped into a friend, and I was like, what's going on? There were so many sirens. Then I saw the cloud of smoke. That was when the first building was on fire. This picture is courtesy of the Daniel Keith. It's a picture of that massive building fire in New York City's East Village. It looks like it's about five stories up. Uh, Daily Share's correspondent John Sarlin is there now uh, covering it for us. Uh, John, what more do you know about the situation? I'm right here uh, on 2nd Avenue, one of the most traffic streets in all of New York, and it's a really chaotic scene. I just talked to uh, a spokesman for the police department. He told me it's a seven alarm fire right now. As you can see, I've never seen this many uh, fire trucks in my entire life. It's unbelievable. Yeah, I know. It's I know. clear right now. It's completely, I mean, it's packed where we're set off, but I mean, it's a, it's a wild scene right now. Yeah, I have to say, I know Pomfrit's uh, pretty well. It's a, they make great French fries, that's for sure. CNN's uh, Jean Casares is on the scene now right outside that building. Uh, Jean, let's start first with uh, the injuries. Uh, how, what's the updated number on, on how many people have been rescued and injured at the scene? Well, we just heard a minute ago from the public information officer of New York Fire Department is that there are 12 confirmed injuries at this point. But I've got to tell you, I'm right here at the scene, and you may be seeing flames. What I am seeing right now is a lot of plumes of gray smoke. And there are three hook and ladders that are up with firemen in them like cherry pickers. And they are spraying water on the building. And they are spraying it in a downward direction as though it has collapsed. It just seems incredible. I mean, this entire, it seems as if the building just collapsed inwards from this picture, just leaving an entire hole in between two other buildings. Jean Casares, I'm going to let you get to that press conference that you have to get to in just a couple of minutes, but I appreciate you calling in and please bring us any new information that you have from the scene. Keep it here on HLN. Plenty more coming up.